WWE Monday Night Raw, July 17th. We are getting closer and closer to SummerSlam. That's a key word here in this Raw review because there was a lot of builds towards SummerSlam. A lot of promotion, a lot of matches announced for SummerSlam. And rightfully so, SummerSlam's like two, three weeks away. But nonetheless, we kicked off with the hometown hero. Raw was in Atlanta, Georgia, the home state of Cody Rhodes. You, you might as well call it American Nightmare Country or something like that. But basically, Cody came out. Um, he talked about, you know, Brock Lesnar. He said, Brock, you know, if you're going to show up at the beginning of the night, I'll be here. The middle of the night, I'll be here. The end of the night, I'll be here. He did, um, he did talk about his mother. I thought that was really sweet of him to do that and his family. And, um, yeah, Cody was heading to the back. He was celebrating with his family, hugging them and crap. And Brock's music hit. He went up to the stage. Brock weren't there. His music hit again. He went in the back. And obviously Brock was there because Brock attacked Cody. And I gotta say, Brock's a sick human being for attacking Cody in front of his own family like that, in front of his mother like that. His poor mother, I feel bad for her. But we finally have it. It's officially official. Brock Lesnar accepted Cody's challenge, so Brock Lesnar will take on Cody Rhodes at the SummerSlam Premium Live event. So after all that, we had Gunther versus Matt Riddle. This was a non-title match. Um... Imperium were banned from ringside. Um, I thought this match kind of just like their Money in the Bank match, similar to it. Um, I thought it was overall pretty solid for the most part. Um, Gunter did get the win here, obviously, and after it, uh, Gunter got on the mic and pretty much called out uh, Drew McIntyre, like if you want if you want a shot at the champ, like come on, come over, come on, come and face me then, because you're gonna fall victim to the ring general. Um, Judgment Day came out as well. They cut his promo. Uh, pretty much Dominic, he was talking about, you know, NXT tomorrow because he's facing Wesley for the North American title. Um, you know, Finn Balor, obviously, talking about Rollins, Damian Priest, Money in the Bank. Rhea, well, before this segment, Rhea actually attacked Raquel um, before and somewhat lived too. So, yeah. But Sammy KO came out, obviously, promotion for their main event. Um, and the match turned into a match for the titles on the line, and it got accepted. So, uh, speaking of titles, the women tag team titles were defended. Kel and Lynn Morgan took on Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. You know what? This match wasn't wasn't even bad. This this match I thought was actually pretty solid to say the least. Um, you know, I thought Raquel did a really good job at selling the leg in, I mean the knee in, well the foot injury, leg, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously. That played a factor as to why they lost the titles in the first place because Sonya and Chelsea weren't going to beat Liv and Raquel clean. And this also plays into the notion that Raquel's going to challenge Rhea for SummerSlam. So be able to look out for that. That should be good. But you know what? Congrats to Sonya and Chelsea for winning the titles. And uh, they, they were getting some pyro too. So you know it was a big moment for them. Uh, Rollins was doing an interview with Byron, but it got cut short because Finn crushed it and Finn was like, please give me another shot. Please he was basically begging Rollins, give me another shot. And Rollins, Rollins was like, dude, like we gotta stop living in the past, dude. Like SummerSlam was so, so many years ago. Finn's like, no, I'm looking I'm looking at the future. The future is me being world champion. And uh Finn actually attacked Rollins afterwards and told him to make the match official. So we should be getting a match between those guys soon. Viking Raiders took on Alpha Academy in the Viking Rules match. This match was really, really good. Titus O'Neil, man, they got to keep him on commentary, dude. Like, that dude is, Titus O'Neil so good at commentary, man. Like, he is really good. But um, Viking Raiders won here, but Alpha Academy really looked good here. Like, they they did that spot with the moonsault into the German. I thought that was really good. And then Maxine Dupree getting her little moment, finally putting on the jacket. That was cool. They just got to do something about that goddamn witch, man. Like, Jesus Christ. She, is, she has been pissing me the hell off, too. Excuse me for my language, but it's true. Um, and, hell, she's the reason why they won the match in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, the Viking Raiders, they got to win all. They got to win something. And they might as well win their own match. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what happened there. Uh oh, and Maxine, man, she took a table spot. I was like, oh my goodness, someone check on her. Shayna Baszler took on Nikki Cross squash match, rightfully so. Um, after the match, um, Shayna and Ronda had some 
war of words, which ultimately led to Ronda basically giving Shayna a match at SummerSlam against her. So those two will face each other at that show. Uh, Miz had his Miz TV. You kind of knew, especially with Becky, how this was going to go. Trish came out. Trish basically was like, look, Becky, I'll fight you. But here, here's some stuff like you got to you got to beat Zoe to beat me. And if you don't beat Zoe, not only do you have to basically get down on your knees and say, thank you, Trish, but you have to get a thank you, Trish, tattooed on your chest. Oh, good God, man. Jesus. The, the things these people do nowadays. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Tr- Becky's going to beat um, Zoe, and then she's, gonna, she's probably going to beat Trish at SummerSlam. Spoiler alert, if they have that match, that's who I think is going to win. Shitsuke Nakamura and Bronson Reed. Uh, this match was all right, to say the least. Um, but Champa came out. Champa is actually the reason why Bronson won the damn match. And then Shinsuke, which I honestly don't blame him, he pretty much kicked Champa. And again, I don't blame him because, like, crap, I would have been pissed too if someone got involved in my match and I clearly was about to win. But, um, yeah, there's really nothing more to that. Champa has his gripes against Reed, so, yeah. Um, main event, man, Judgment Day, um, Dominic, <laughs> Dirty Dom, excuse me, and uh, Damian Priest taking on Sammy and KO tag team titles. Yeah, this is a really good main event match. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing more I can um, say about it, but um, all around good stuff, so... Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my Raw review for July 17th, 2023. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. We're really close to 2,300 subscribers. So, um, man, that's freaking amazing, dude. Uh, I'll see you on the next video, man. Y'all have a great rest of your night or whatever you're doing. Peace.